Hello, I'm Dr. John Baker, Chief of Neurosciences and Director of the Neurovascular Program at Chesapeake Regional Healthcare. I'm here to talk about stroke. The stroke is when there is lack of blood flow to the brain or bleeding within the brain. Both of those are medical emergencies and can lead to significant disability for the patient or, or death. We have the facilities here at Chesapeake Regional to rapidly diagnose strokes and take action to intervene, to try to treat those strokes before that brain damage occurs or to limit the damage that occurs. The number one thing is identifying a person who may be having a stroke. Those symptoms may be difficulty with the person being able to say what they want to, understanding what's being said, problems with their language, slurring of their speech. They may have a droop on one side of the face or the other, one of their arms or both arms, one leg or both legs may have weakness. They can also have sensory changes. The person may have difficulty with their vision. Uh, their eyes may not be pointed the right direction. And they may have difficulty with their walking, an unsteady gait. So when someone is having a stroke, the acronym is to act fast. We want to see people calling 911. If you see that happening or if you feel it happening to yourself uh, and to get EMS activated and we have special protocols then that they alert us that they're bringing a stroke patient so that we can be ready and have things going even before the patient arrives to help expedite their care. So we have a mantra in stroke that time is brain. The longer that one delays their care, often the worse the brain injury is going to be and things can become permanent or as I said before, even death. In many places with the coronavirus, COVID-19 disease uh, being in the community, some places have seen a decrease in patients coming for stroke. We wanna make sure that 911 is being called not to neglect those symptoms. There's actually been an increase of blood clotting and also bleeding within the brain uh, associated with COVID-19. We in this area and starting with the EMS through the emergency room into this specialized operating room for stroke have implemented special protocols to keep both the patients and as well as the staff members safe uh, as they're being treated. With coronavirus active in the community, we want to make sure people still act and don't delay care. Chesapeake Regional Healthcare is open, safe, and ready to provide your care.